on the way to our next stop. Welcome to Alabama. Welcome to Alabama. Well, hello fellow RVers. This is Gary with Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. So freedom has brought us close to a city called Lynette, Alabama, to a campground called Amity Campground. This is a Corps of Engineer Park. It's located on West Point Lake off the West Point Dam. 96 campsites, seven camping areas. So we've got a lot to show you. So let's go and start reviewing. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Right there's where you check in at. Okay, so right there, campsites one through 21, that is called the Volunteer Village, no public entry. So we're gonna go to campsites 22 through 96. Beautiful wooded campground road. We've seen chipmunks, birds, squirrels. Lots of geese. Geese, right? Yeah, cranes or storks, whichever one they are. So following this entrance road in, you have your, uh, your dump station, and it is a two-way dump station. Which I mean by that, it means you can do it either going into the park or coming out. Right. Both sides are working. As you can see, this is a nice wooded drive. It's, a, it's flat. Makes for some nice bicycle riding. I think I combined this area, the campground road, and the different loops along with the trail here and I got about eight and a half miles on my mountain bike the other day. Good ride. Beautiful woods. There's the bathroom. Showers. There are two shower houses in this whole campground. The bathrooms are separate from the shower houses. And they are not close. Like not what I would consider walking distance. We break this video for the shower report. Here are the bathrooms. So, shower one, shower two, shower three. Hot water, good pressure. Not really fantastic about the privacy for two of them. You do have this curtain, but you know how hard it is to get dressed in a small space like that if you live in an RV. But there's that. Doable. Still nice curtains, you know. They're not the curtains that don't really. You ever go to the park so you see those curtains that just quite don't fit it? Yeah, there you go. I use this one. All right, back to the review. And how is your shower? Report? Okay, on the men's side, it is not just a shower. There is a sink, a toilet, and a urinal. Three showers, two regular, one handicap. Water pressure was outstanding. The hot water was outstanding. And instead of having just one nozzle, you had two. <laughs> and I really like that. It's the little things. Yes. <laughs> so it was a very good shower and very clean because I could smell the bleach when I walked in there. Mm -hmm. Of course, they had just cleaned it. So that, that's probably part of that. Yeah. But great shower. Yep, we, we give it a two thumbs up, five stars. And us campers, we do like our showers. Uh-huh, and it's nice because we got in ticks, so it's good to go scrub up for a minute. Yeah, with good hot water and a lot of pressure. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to campsites 22 through 36. This main loop, main road that comes in from the check-in station, now you're going to have a split here, and you're going to go to two separate campsites, as you can see on the sign. Okay, the sign says campsites 22 through 30 this way now these campsites 22 through 30 are 30 amp only this park has some 30 some 50 but this loop is just 30 amp now there are just bathrooms at the different little areas right we're just going to go around this little loop You've got your typical Army Corps of Engineer parks. Large campsites. Hmm. 22 to 25. We're in this little cul-de-sac. Yep. Or 
actually here's 27 over here. Right, and this review is going to be more like a drive-by with a representation here and there. That was 27 because there's so many sites. It's 23. So they're not all waterfront, but it's, there are a lot of waterfront and water view sites here. And then going into our next little section, looks like they're more a waterfront, water view. Here we have 29 and 30. All right, there's a lot of people out today. So just a little glimpse to see. Then, then you don't have any campsites for a minute. Nope. Like being in your own little private campground in your campsite. So this joins up with the other road. Right. Uh, this is the next next set of loops. This should be 31 through 36. Okay, so 31 through 36, these are 30 50 amp sites. And this was one of my favorite areas when I was biking around because not many campsites. West Point Lake. Nice and spacious. Great waterfront sites here. Thirty-four is right there on the point. Very nice. Thirty-five, right there. Just drag your kayak or your fishing pole right down to the water. Perfect. What's next, Captain? Okay, so there's like three central roads that come in, and then the campground loops split off of those three main roads. So if you saw that road we just passed, that's where we went in, right? To go to this. Yep. yep. Okay, this is that road, and then if you see the sign, this branches off into three different areas. So we are going to 37 through 62. Here we go. It's another really nice area. There's 37. Be, right there, 50 amp. All these should be 50 amp. So you can see they have water, even though there's sites on each side, there's water on each side. They A lot have, of boating and water sports. Right. They have their own shower house here this little area. There's an island off to my right. If Let me get it real quick so you can see it right through there. Right there. Boy, this place was hopping over the weekend. And if you do have a boat, you can actually pull it right up to the beach there behind your campsite. Mm -hmm. And there's pretty much swimming all along the shore of this lake. We've seen people everywhere. Yep. Okay, so we're just now passing 48, really at a fast clip. And here's an empty site. 49. Site 53, and there's, you can see other RVs across the way there. Overflow parking. Or boat parking, trailer parking, whatever you want to use it for. 54. There's a bathroom. Passing 55 on the right. You There's see how that pontoon boat is right up to the bank. Pontoon boat right up to the bank. 59. It's 
sweet. Yeah, this is a nice little loop. You're a little bit closer to everybody. Not really, I guess. I think it's just that there's more campsites in this loop because they're on both sides. Yeah, a lot of waterfront. You can see water out the front of your RV and from your yard and there's just water all around. a little turn to the right and we're going to go along the water and check out this other side which upcoming are the tent sites so if you look over there that's where we just were we were looking across the way here and these campsites right here these campsites right here on the water are tent sites three tent sites okay 63 64 and 65 there you go. So these are campsites 63 through 73. Let's go check this little area out. This was great over the weekend. Families out here, kids playing in the water. People fishing. Of them. Whole bunch of geese. <laughs> I think they might be getting fed. I think they might be getting fed too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a little bath room for this area. But see, you can see there's no bathhouse close here. You're going to have to hoof it over across where we just came from or go down the road to where. We got our showers. Or you have a lake. Or yeah, just go in the lake. All right, next up, this loop. So what side is that? It's coming into our section. Site 74. Now this one is kind of off to itself. You can see water back that way but you're facing the woods here. But it's a nice little private site. Well, that one looks familiar. That would be us. Site 75. It is an amazing site. Right there on the water. Nice big yard. 76 right there. And site 77 right there. Seventy-eight. Seventy-nine. See how the living space is down there by the water? That's so amazing. I think that, you know, that goes with the one we just passed. And then there's 80 right there. And if you look across the water, that's the boat ramp. Yes, we'll see that in a minute. All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that little doggy. <laughs> Guarding his area. There's another bathroom. Site 82, we just passed. 84 is right there. 83 is the last one down here. And there is the trail. It is called the... What's it called? The alligator. Alligator, alligator trail. And it is, well, I biked it the other day, but I couldn't tell you what it is. But there is a nine tenths of a mile loop that goes over a little wetlands area. But it's you really have pretty. to walk to get to the nine tenths. You do have to walk. You have to come up here. So it, I think the whole thing was 1.34, 1 1.3, right. 1.4. From site number 75. We did get ticks, and we're not sure if we got them from there 
or if we got them just on a walk or if we got them from a campsite but we had ticks after we did a dog walk there both times so I'm kind of blaming the trail I think when I go on the trail again it'll be on my bike But it is a beautiful trail. It's nice and wide. It's nice on your bike. There are some roots, but generally it's flat and level and no little ups and downs. And it goes along the lake all the way over. You cross over where the boat ramp is, that area, and you continue on and you come out on County Road 222. And then you can drive, ride back on the highway, not for me, or turn around and ride back. Now we're going to go Backtrack. exit and go back to the last loop. There are seven of these. Three roads, seven circles. Yes. We walked down here this morning and the whole dog walk was a little over a mile to the stop sign we're about to come up to here. So just to give you a frame of reference for how long these camp roads are. What is today's date? Today is May 24th. May 24th. I think. <laughs> Did I say that with uh, conviction? Well, as we're driving there, let's, let's just, I'm going to say this. Technically, we're in Lynette, Alabama. Although half this park is in Georgia, some of this park's in Alabama. Either a Georgia or an Alabama fishing license is okay to use on this lake. Now you could be in Eastern Standard Time, you could be in Central Standard Time, depending on where you're at. Lynette, Alabama was one of the few cities, I think three cities that voted to stay in Eastern Standard Time instead of switching to Central Standard Time. So as you drive around here, you don't really know what state you're in or what time zone you're in. <laughs> that has been the case since we were at East Bank Campground. Yeah. I asked one of the locals, what time zone are we in? She goes, it depends where you're driving. <laughs> and, and just be aware that as you're driving around this area, your phone will flip back and forth between Central and eastern so when we left our last campground we thought for sure by the time we got into this alabama we would be central standard time which would be an hour back from eastern time so we kind of were allowing for that but no oh, that's the dump there. station dump station over there and dumpsters and dumpsters all right this all is right. our last loop right here so, right here, and away we go. So, what do we got up here on the left? Playground, wow. basketball courts, tennis courts. The sad thing is, we haven't seen nobody using them. Not a soul. Not a soul. Yep. And also, you can access the trail right here. That Beaver Lodge interpretive trail half a mile is it just is a comes right off and makes a little loop off the alligator creek nature trail which is one mile and then up here you'll see where the alligator creek trail crosses see nice biking right there though okay next stop boat ramp the weekend that lake is jumping with jet skis and people being pulled on tubes and boats. And yeah, it's... It's a water sport lake. Yeah. Now if you look back across there, that is our loop right there. That we just came down and showed you. So there's a boat ramp. In the lake. Very peaceful today. It's a deep water lake. According to my app, it gets up to 65 feet deep. Mr. D has done some fishing out there. 
successfully. I have caught a few fish. Yeah. Largemouth bass, yellow perch, nice bluegills, and uh, striper. So these are going to be sites 85 through 96. Now, campsites 85, 86, and 87 are just 30 amp, and campsites 94, 95, and 96 are just 30 amp. The rest are 30, 50. There's 85. 85 is right there. There's the bathroom over there. And there's the water here for this site. And right there, we're looking at 94. And 93. Now, something unfortunate happened there at 92. back up in there is 87 but you got a lake view out the front and then coming around here is 88 89 a little bit of a downhill there yeah it's a slope a little beach down there is sad. Yeah, they were breaking this down yesterday. I don't know what happened, but... It's like somebody's travel trailer caught fire. Blessings. You notice those two propane tanks are intact, though. Blessings to those folks. Hope everybody's okay and all the animals. See, there's 93. some water back there I see just a little bit 95 and 96 for this side 96 is our last campsite yes we're gonna head back up and wrap this up head back to site number 75 so that was our tour Amity Campground, Corps of Engineer Park, located on West Point Lake behind us. This is the uh, what the campground looks like. If you want to get a screenshot of that, maybe better to look at this than the uh, what's on the computer. But you that's can, it. Right. You can also Google that they are on the computer if you want to take a look at it. So, like I said, there was 96 sites, but the first 21 are reserved for um, workers during working season, which I talked to the ranger, I guess, sometime next year. Remember all those blue stripes on the trees? What's going to happen to them, hon? This makes me sad. <laughs> I need to want to talk about it. They're all being cut down to allow the forest more room to breathe and grow. Let the sun in and they would rather cut the trees down while they're still alive so they can be used for other purposes you know lumber home building then wait till they die and fall down some of them are a lot of them are pine trees big giant beautiful pine trees just break my heart but he said about every 20 years they go through a clearing process yeah so it makes sense but so um, our Verizon service here was, was pretty good. On occasion, I did get the little spinning thing on the YouTubes and stuff like that. Did you? No, I've, I've done really well here. It, it's been hit or miss at the last two campgrounds. Um, not no service, slow, unreliable, but able to do whatever we, we wanted to do. I've been able to upload videos and watch videos and do anything I needed. Right, and we already touched on the uh, the time zone variations here in the state and like I said before this lake behind us 
Georgia or Alabama fishing license is okay. And uh, so you've got a pretty late sunset. And it's a really beautiful sunset here over the lake. Dog walking is nice. We do have the one alligator trail and the lodge loop. Oh, what was yeah, it called? Beaver, the Beaver, Beaver Lodge. Beaver Lodge, <laughs> Beaver Lodge Loop. Lodge loop and the Alligator Trail. Yeah. Other than that, it's road walking, but you can bike those trails and you can bike on the hard roads. Right. And road walking, it's not like you're having to walk by neighbors and bother other dogs or anything like that. You are walking down a wooded camp road just miles and miles if you want. Now, one thing I would suggest is when you come to this campground, I would bring everything you need as far as your refreshments and your groceries and any toys because there's really not anything close around here. Not a really a whole lot to do around this area, Lynette, Alabama. <laughs> so when you're coming here, it's for the water and the water sports and the bike riding and they do have the playground and the beach. So this is where you need to be prepared to stay during your reservation time. Right, and there are a lot of recreational areas in the area, mm -hmm. um, swimming beaches and picnic areas. And we went to the dam yesterday and, and looked at that and the Chattahoochee River flowing out of the dam. Right. And the visitor center, the sign set open Monday through Thursday from eight to three. If you want to go to the visitor center at the dam itself. Right. And we don't know if they have dam tours or not. We haven't checked. Don't know that. We, but anyway, um, we're kind of laying low this week because we had a busy week last week. <laughs> we were in a place where there was somewhere to go every single day, and we did. So now we're just kind of like chillaxing. So we're actually here on Site 75, but we're going to be moving to Site 20. Site 24, I believe. Don't hold me to yeah, it. Yeah, it could be 24. But. Might be in a different time zone. I don't know. <laughs> just for two nights. So I guess that's about all for this part. That is it. Yep. This is just a nice, relaxing, peaceful park. I think I'm gonna sleep in the hammock tonight. I slept in the hammock a couple nights at Cotton Hill. So there's trees here if you like to lounge around in a hammock or read a book in a hammock. Hope you enjoyed it. Click, like, subscribe. Follow the journey. Right, because we're still headed west eventually. Mm -hmm. West, not way west. No, kind of not west. Just a little more west. Yeah, Missouri West. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm Gary. Sharon here. Rough road. The dogs, of course, are sleeping like they are in every video. <laughs> they sleep a lot. Yeah. They sleep and they dog walk. That's it. <laughs> and eat and poop. Yeah, they eat, poop. They're like babies. Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, anyway, we hope to see you on the road out there. Safe travels. Take care.